Naam, karibu katika mdahalo wa weekend ambapo ni juzi tu ambapo wakenya walazimisha siku ya kina baba duniani lakini kuitwa baba kuna kuja na majukumu gani hasa katika malezi je ipo tofauti iwapo mwanawe amelelewa na wazazi wawili ikilinganishwa na mzazi mmoja iwe baba pekee au mama pekee katika mahojiano ya wiki ndio ya wiki hii ya mdahalo wa weekend hii ndio swala tunaloliangazia lakini kabla ya kuanza rasmi mjadala huu tupate taarifa yake Francis Mtalaki katika maisha ya kila siku kwa yote yule ni wazi kuwa baba ni muhimu na ana mchango wake sio tu kwa mwanao au nyumbani na majukumu aliyotika katika malezi ya mwanao yapo mambo ambayo ni desturi na yenye uzito katika maisha ya kumlea mwanawe e, ni melelewa with both parents e, na nikitupoa sana also my dad actually ni mtu ame still a lot of discipline me and things like being late you know I make nika kuja kuja ku appreciate time. So in everything I do I always do it in time. I'm always on time. Another thing is all about, the other discipline is being neat and clean. Yeah, that's another thing that I really learned from my dad. Akiwa kijana ambaye amekomana anaweza kujitegemea. Ameishia kumshukuru babake mzazi kwa malezi aliyompea kiasi cha kusema yeye ndio kio chake katika jamii kutokana na jinsi alivyokuwa kimwadhibu na kumwelekeza katika maisha yake ya utotoni lakini ana mtazamo upi kuhusiana na kulelewa na mzazi mmoja it all depends what the parent does eh? is he bringing up the child or is he letting the child grow so those are the two scenarios if indeed he's bringing up the child and is doing what a parent should do practicing parenthood then the child will grow up a, be a better person in the society but if you let the past the child grow by himself then the environment definitely will have to influence his, 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 his tabia yake na je kwa wale ambao wapo katika ndoa wana mtazamo gani na kuwa na baraka kubwa kwa sababu wawili watakuwa na wakati mzuri wa kutunza huyo mtoto na wa kumuelezea vile inatakikana kuwa lakini mtoto akiwa amelewa na mtoto na msasi mmoja inakuwa nga shida saa ingine anaona atakuwa na madharau kwa sababu atakuwa na heshima wa mama pengine ikiwa kwa na baba atakuwa na heshima wa baba when the child is being brought up by a mother uh, she lacks the fatherly discipline and fatherly uh, guidance that a child needs to fit in the society usually there are some factors that a father can tell a child Um, that the mother wouldn't be able to do so for example if you have a boy uh, he reaches around 12 13 years there are some aspects that the father can only tell him that he may not be comfortable asking the mother lakini ni majukumu yapi haya ambayo kama baba wa nyumba anapaswa kuyatimiza au kuyatekeleza ili kuhakikisha kuwa mwanawe amepokea malezi yanayostahili a father can discipline a child when when he goes away but mothers tend to uh, tend to persuade to soothe uh, to soothe the children and they la they lack that uh, toughness that a father gives to a child papa ndiye kiongozi wa nyumba na ndiye sasa mu please to hood ndiye amepatiwa na mungu aliye hai amempatia ma, ma, ma wa, wajibu wa kutunza mama na watoto but the father is a leader he's supposed to be the head of the home Um, although now we have reversed roles I think the father should be given his due respect as, as the father figure in a home Wanasema mtoto mleavo ndivyo akuavyo lakini kutokana na takwimu ambazo zinaonyesha kuwa ndoa nyingi zimesambaratika hivyo basi watoto wa kileo wamejipata mashakani je wakulaumiwa ni nani Francis Mtelaki Kate leo weekend